what does it mean to be the priest of a church in the middle of Soho? Some people reacted to me coming to work at St Anne's Soho by saying, Soho? Wow, isn't that London's Sodom and Gomorrah? If there's anywhere with people needing to be saved, it must be there. Other people asked, well, who goes to church in Soho? Surely no one lives there. And a few other people said, that sounds like it could be fun. And probably the last response is the truest. There's certainly no opportunity to get bored, as Soho is one of the most vibrant, diverse and colourful parts of London. Despite its sleazy reputation, it is in many ways like any other village, with about 4,500 residents, many elderly people living alone, and families living in social housing and walking their kids to the thriving local primary school, but which is one that's set behind the bars, sex shops and red lights of prostitutes' windows. It's the service of God expressed in worship and in the service of the community that I find myself here. So it's really important for me that every day begins with prayer and stillness, where I find inspiration and a few challenges from the daily reading of the Bible, and aim to remind myself that amidst the madness of Soho, I'm supported by the still presence of God at the centre of my being. Half the time I'm called to be a social worker, half the time I'm called to be an agony uncle, and half the time I'm called to run a church. Yes, I know I'm bad at maths, but as you can see, the job is bigger than I can ever manage to fulfil adequately, and sometimes you can only do your best and leave some stuff for God to resolve. That this church is open each weekday as a quiet place of sanctuary and peace is a real gift to a place like Soho, which can be relentlessly busy and where life can be hectic. The church is small, having been bombed in the war, and the original 17th century church, with the exception of the tower, was destroyed. In 1991, a new modern multi-purpose space was opened with a chapel, which on Sundays extends into the community hall. During the week, the hall plays host to all sorts of things, from Tai Chi to AA meetings, choral society rehearsals, and an OAP lunch, which I sometimes find myself cooking. But on a Sunday, a fairly small but loyal and growing group of people meet to grow as followers of Christ and as friends in their community. It's a serious business, but I think we do it with a sense of enjoyment at being such a diverse community, accepting one another as we are and thanking God for the blessing of life. But the church isn't about buildings, it's about people. They're what the Bible calls the living stones of the church, built on the foundation of Christ, who was willing to give himself out of love for all people. He sets an impossible standard in a way for any Christian to follow fully, not least me, but we try. Part of my role has to be to put a human face to the church in Soho, and so I'm out on the street quite a bit. This is partly down to my Battersea rescue dog Betty, also known as my pastoral assistant. And as we pick our way through the often crowded streets, sometimes negotiating the broken glass and the odd pool of vomit of an evening, it's amazing how often random conversations are struck up. And it's not unusual for me to have had four or five pastoral encounters, even on the morning walk before breakfast. No two stories I hear from people I meet are ever the same. And my own journey to ordination and on to Soho is a peculiar one. I spent most of my working life in television as a puppeteer, on TV shows like Spitting Image, various commercials, Muppet movies, and goodness knows what else. Puppetry still plays a part in my life, and I use puppets in church at times. When you've seen a puppet sheep tell you the nativity story from the perspective of one of the animals with my best Alan Bennett impersonation, it's not something you forget in a hurry. All life is here in Soho, and I suppose I'm just trying to make the most of all that I am and the place that I'm in, and support others as they try and do the same.